Hello everyone, in this video, we're going to create a new custom span for a current trace by both manual way and annotation way to add more information to a request routine in our Spring Boot application. By doing that, we're gonna get better understanding how trace and spans work together to fulfill all the details of a request. Okay, let's go ahead and back to our Slip API. So, as you know, we created a custom metric for the do-slip method that been used by this slip API. And today we want to create a new span for this method as well. Okay, let's spin up our infrastructure and start our service. Okay. Then we are going to our chipkin at localhost nine four one one. Let where don't worry. So we didn't see any trace here, right? Then we're going to create a new trace by sending a request to slip. Okay. Back. We're going to find. Going to find. Okay, now we have one trace that represent for the request and there's only one span in this trace. Okay, let's jump into this tray. So we have a tray ID, is an ID of this trace and an area for span information. We'll have the span name, span ID and the parent ID. The parent ID is the span ID of this parent's span in here, we we'll see the parent ID is none. It means this span is a root span and doesn't have any parent. Okay, let's say we know this request, slip request, calling do slip method, and we want to have the information of this method at a span in this request. Okay, let's back to our server and do it. First, we need to create a tracer to create a span. So we're going to tracer. But it should form the micrometer. It's not that tracer from open telemetry here. So I'll leave it here. And obviously we need to auto wire tracer tracer and this tracer equal to tracer okay currently you only have one option from open telemetry but it's not the tracer we really want the tracer that we want is, is from the micrometer and it is automatically configured for us uh, when we have this dependency. So when we add the dependency, micrometers tracing bridge hotel, the tracer will be automatically configured for us in the class uh, hotel open telemetry auto configuration. And in this method, micrometer hotel tracer, we will see that they are going to react a bean old tail tracer and this old tail tracer actually the tracer from uh, micrometers tracing and that's the tracer that we want to use in our project right okay then and as we already you know brought it up in the third video when we react a tracers <coughs> and introduce to react uh, to send trace data to Rafuna Temple. And in that video, we only need this dependency at runtime because we uh, didn't do any customization. But uh, in this video, we're gonna to, uh, need chasers to come you know, in the code. So to compile it, we need to change it into implementation. Then we have implementation, and here I'm going to import again. 
from the tracer. No, it's not from telemetry. Okay, reload it. Okay. And import class and from micrometers. Tracer. Tracer. What happened? Okay. Then back to our slip method. Uh, we're going to grab it. Okay, let's create a new span using our tracers. Trace, sorry, I'm tracer. Okay, tracer. Uh, next span and name it. I will name it. Uh, do slip. Method span. New span. And then uh, I will start this span. This tracer will span. New span. Dot start. And put it into try resources. Okay, and then I will wrap a functionality inside this try block, and finally, I'm going to end this band. Okay, and we are going to restart our service, and fire chase again. Run away. So we have one query. Uh, the old one, then we're going to re a new one, okay, then double check it. So now we have, we just created a new trace uh, that represent our request. And you can see here, so now we just created a new span for that tray. So in total, this tray is going to have two span. Uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, so now we have two span for this tray ID here. And the first span is the HTTP span. Right, we have the span ID and this is, there's no the parent ID. So that's why this is the root, root span. And the second span we have is the span name that we already, you know, did it, do slip method span. And we have the span ID here and the parent ID. Actually, this is the span ID of the root span. And that's how spans are related and correlated to fulfill all the details of a request. Okay, now we know how to do it manually. Let's move on and use the new span annotation to achieve the corresponding behavior. Okay, let's turn it back so we don't need to actually we going to use annotation new span here and the value is do slip method span and since we used the annotation approach we don't need to okay do this one so we turn is back and we don't need this tracer here as well okay, I'm going to okay yeah so now we have new span annotation here and if you remember we have the time here and we also have to create a time expect bin to you know, trigger this time to work so we are going to do the same thing for new span and I'm going to create a span a spec config duration class okay so this is the configuration class and I'm going to uh, here, micrometers. 
we're going to use the so one thing to mention is here is the aspect oriented programming is start from the version 1.1.0 so make sure that you yeah you form that version to use the new span here and I'm going to going to copy this span aspect we want that way that span aspect hmm import something happened then uh, okay in span effect the span aspect need the method invocation processor so then we also need this one as well okay okay Marometers and span spec or class bean factory form spring framework. Okay, and this one class. Okay, then so the okay. So this to the AS span aspect, we need uh method invocation processors so we have a method invocation processor here and to create a method invocation processor we need a new span parser and this here okay and that's it since we are not using you know anything in span chart so to make it you know simply then we are not gonna to use this one, so we don't need the value expression resolvers and the value resolver here. The three means is enough in our case. So tracer from uh, micrometer tracer auto configured. Okay, everything is seem fine. Let's restart our service. And okay, and hope everything is okay. Back to now, I'm going to read like seven. Okay, seven, and we're going to find trace. Let's see, we have this one. Okay, a few seconds ago. Now we have this request that we just sent, and as you see, now it still have the two spans and okay so it this means that we successfully config our new span with the annotation approach okay take a look at this so there are some default uh, tasks for us as well so like uh, annotated class slip service annotated method do slip and we also have the span name the slip method the span name here the span the span ID, the parent IDs is the pen ID of the parent here. Okay, I think that's long enough for this video. Thank you so much for taking your time watching this video and the series. Hope you can learn something new here. See you in the next video and as always, happy coding.